welcome to Gap Lake near Kenmore, Alberta. Um, today I'm sort of out looking around. The light has been really terrible, but uh, I've come across this kind of interesting scene here where um, we got this ice formation on the lake that's kind of leading into it. Um, I've kind of headed around uh, over this direction. Um, I'll just sort of point you out. It's kind of in the sun, but just right over there uh, to try and get to the end of that leading line and uh, it's just way too low down uh, and you basically lose sight of it so I've kind of picked this spot right here um, that's kind of over top of it so um, let's take a look at it and uh, see what we can get all right so um, this is kind of my composition right now it's quite low down for me so I have to crouch down but yeah um, what I'm really liking is the, uh, the, the leading line that's kind of coming in. Uh, and although I tried to sort of go over to the right to get above it, um, I just couldn't get to it. It was too low down and uh, I lost sight of the leading line altogether because what I really wanted was this one mountain by itself over here. And it's got amazing light on it, amazing cloud, uh, looking super dramatic. Um, but this is kind of what we're stuck with at the moment. So. I'm gonna try and bring it in from the right here uh, and kind of lead it over to that mountain and try and keep the lighting and the uh, clouds and everything focused on that one. This one in the foreground is a little bit, uh, or mid-ground is a little bit, uh, a little bit too dark, uh, not enough contrast and detail on it, but I think we're gonna go with that. Uh, probably gonna crop it down significantly, maybe there. Uh, and try from there, but the lighting is really good right now and I wanna kind of try and grab this with this ice. Um, definitely do a little bit of dramatic editing on it as well, just to suit my style. So, I'm gonna take the shot, it's finna good. Here it is. Hope you like that shot. I'm gonna try one more, um, just sort of portrait of just the clouds and the ice and that one mountain, just while we have some good light and some dramatic clouds. This is my current setup on my camera, but what I like to do is turn it like this and then up on this tripod, which is really unique. And then I can turn this dial right here, which kind of looks like, well, it's gonna be too hard to do, but essentially what happens is, is the camera turns that way and uh, then I can do a portrait shot. So I'll set that up and show you again here in a sec. Um, setting up this tripod uh, with one hand, it's a little difficult. So this is what it looks like. So this wheel right here, I can turn and loosen it off and then turn the camera that way, which I've done now to create sort of a, a portrait session there. Uh, really handy uh, with this particular tripod head because I can even level it. Uh, with this bubble right here and then even if I'm going to do a panorama I can use these um, marks to sort of uh, to turn it uh, equally uh, so we're not getting too much distortion and you can kind of measure your shot out. Anyway I'm going to frame this uh, vertical um, portrait shot here uh, before we lose the light on on this mountain and uh, then I'll show you through the camera what that looks like. All right here's my uh, portrait shot uh, straight through the back of the camera here. Um, just trying to get that light on the top of the mountain there. Uh, no portrait is probably the best option for this, but I'd really like to focus on that mountain. Um, what I'm really liking is that, that light up there and the, uh, the way the ice sort of starts unfocused and then focuses towards the back. And I'm really liking all these dramatic clouds up here. So I'm gonna take this shot. If it's any good, I'll put it up for you right away here. Yeah, kinda, kinda nice. Hope you enjoy it.
so I've had to do a quick uh, lens change um, to uh, my 600 because what I'm trying to do is um, you may not be able to see it but it's kind of that let's see here pointing on the camera really stupid and annoying I'm trying to get that peak right there uh, because I mean it is just popping off right now uh, through the lens here so what I'll do is I'll put it up on my uh, on my live view of my on my camera right through here and I'll show you the shot I'm getting because right now I mean it is it is looking pretty incredible so uh, let's take a look okay so this is the uh, this is the view I'm getting right now I'm having a really hard time seeing through the viewfinder just uh, because of glare but uh, right through right through here if I take it off live mode which I'll do in a minute um, let's just adjust it here a bit I'm seeing that peak so again uh, hard to point out a little bit but uh, there's the peak right there the light's shining sort of from the back of it and uh, I'm going to use those trees that are just on a bit of a highway there as the uh, as the foreground uh, really loving how the light's coming off the edges of that peak right now so uh, yeah anyway I'm going to take a few shots here I'm going to pick a couple and I'll put one up on the screen for you right away here. Hope you enjoy it. Just gonna oh, just get this tripod back together here. I just did a couple of freehand shots just to uh, try some different angles that occasionally tripods don't have the, uh, the ability to get. So I'm gonna move down uh, the road that way a little bit, uh, not too too far. Um, just try and work with some of the ice on the lake and. Uh, I'm definitely going to look back at that peak again because it's it's changing by the minute here. So <clears throat> if you can hear some noise in the background, it's because I've got a, a mountain highway just sort of behind me over here. Uh, or behind you anyway. <laughs> uh, so excuse that noise. Um, but when you're driving through the mountains and you see stuff like this happening, you can't ignore it. You got to pull in. Not too adventure -y, but I mean, I think the scenery is pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to move down the road a bit and uh, be back right with you. Be right back with you. Jeez, learn how to speak, Dion. <laughs> I'm just going to be walking back to uh, my vehicle here. It's a real quick walk. And I noticed that that peak um, that I was shooting before is really, really blown up as far as light and atmosphere is concerned. Uh, maybe really hard to see way off in the distance there, but <clears throat> I'm going to get my. Uh, my 600 out again and try and capture that so stand by uh, I've got my camera set up I mean it is really firing off over here right now um, this is my setup and I'm going for that peak right there uh, look at that light um, it's going to be probably just about impossible for you to see that on the back of my camera um, my camera has uh, stop me from allowing to record video so i can't show you the live view directly except for that <laughs> 
So, um, I need to shoot this. Uh, photography is my priority over video. Uh, I'm going to take a bunch of photos here and I'll be right back with you and uh, I'll show you the photos. I mean, wow. Sometimes you have to go tripodless. Uh, I don't know if the wind's catching into my, uh, my mic here too badly, but the sun is cascading and illuminating these shards down around the summit right now, and at the same time reflecting off the ice in front of me, and holy moly, this is a shot. This is exactly the kind of photography that I that I live for I mean this is it like this this beats in my mind right now everything that I've done up to this point today uh, I am just absolutely floored you know what I'm gonna put one with the Sun in it just with the the peak just kind of shining through here oh okay I'm collecting a bunch of photos here and uh, I'm gonna put some up for you here and I really hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching.